If you need to create flashcards, I'm going to show you how to do so using ChatGPT. Yeah, you heard me right. So without further ado, let's climb straight in. So ChatGPT, of course, can be harnessed for pretty much anything you need. And I just want to have a small disclaimer here that I am using the free version. OK, and it is possible with the free version. So the first command that you want to do is Give me five flashcard categories. Now, what will happen here is there'll be five and you can see that there are a few subcategories. All right. So what we will do now is from these five categories, we can say. Create five flashcards for each of these categories. Now, if you want to sort of filter down and create flashcards for a specific category you can do so you'll just do that in your first command and then also you can go ahead and you can have maybe different um, amounts of flashcards within so you can see here it is and you can see now that it's starting to give you term and definition all right so what you can do from here is once it's complete you can ask it to convert this into a format of which you can use to um, import to any other app or any other platform that you would create flashcards on now i will be using anki and the way we import to anki is through a csv file so what you need to do is open up excel on a blank sheet you can use the desktop version or the browser version I am particularly using the browser version and here you want to say convert this into a format that can be used in Anki and hit enter and let it do its magic. Now the reason we don't do this initially is because once this information comes in you can actually run through the information and make sure that it is correct because there is a small note right at the bottom of the page when you go into chat gpt it says chat gpt can make mistakes check important information so if you're making flashcards make sure that this information is correct once it is correct then you can go and convert it into the format that you need it in and it's specifically a csv format okay it's comma separated value and what you'll do now is you will just click on copy code and this is it and as you can see down here it gives you some important steps furthermore but essentially you're going to be importing your data into here so let's just select this cell and you're going to use Control v to paste and here it all is right over here you can just rename this so let's go and say flashcards chat gpt once you've done that, you're going to go ahead into file and we're going to come down to export and you'll see the download the sheet as CSV. Let's click on that and it'll download it to your device. Now you can go ahead in to Anki. Let's double click here and open it up. Once it's open, you can go to the bottom. It says import file. Let's import file. And here you can actually select your file. So here it is over here and let's say open. Now, there's some important information that ChatGPT did give us. So let's just go in here and you'll see just underneath the code, it says you need to save the file, first of all, as a CSV. And then you go to import and then you need field mapping. All right. That's simple. And then you're going to go and click on import. So let's go back into Anki. So you're going to go down here and click on import file. You're going to come up here and click on the file that you'd like to import and you will now be able to use these flashcards within Anki.